With Disney's Photo Pass, we were all over all the parks and other places. There were some places that were definitely better to work than others. I loved my time with PhotoPass. I had a blast working there. And most of the places that you would shoot pictures of the guests were so much fun. One of my favorites was working the streets of Magic Kingdom because that's when you have everybody pouring in a lot of times your first time guests. They'd have the wow factor. And you'd see the newcomers and as soon as they see the castle, you just watch them light up. Wow! The kids especially were so much fun because they'd be so excited and jumping around and, and the girls would oftentimes be dressed up as little princesses and she'd walk up and go, well, how are you doing, princess? You know, the boys sometimes would be dressed up as pirates and you'd get a little pirate speak. Arr! What's a pirate's favorite letter of the alphabet? Arr! And so we'd have a lot of fun playing with the guests there. One of my other favorite places that doesn't exist anymore is Toontown. Toontown had a whole bunch of different rooms where you could meet different guests. And you could meet Mickey and Minnie. There would also be Donald, Goofy, Pluto, the princesses. The fairies were there for a little while with Tinkerbell and her friends. And it was always so much fun because Toontown was set up in such a way that you were insulated and protected from the weather. But you would also have time to be able to play a little bit. They would structure the line so you would only have so many people come in at a time. And those those people would actually get not just time to get a quick picture, but time that they could actually spend with the character, play, interact, and we would have so much fun. Toontown, if you wanted to meet the characters, was possibly about the best place to do it. But there was another location that was also a lot of fun to work with characters, and that was out in Epcot. Not at the front of the park where the character connection is, but out in the World Showcase. If you go to China, you can meet Mulan. Over in Germany, you can meet Snow White. In France, it would be Belle and Aurora, and there would be other characters scattered all throughout. And the line weren't always as long out there and so you could just get more time to play and playing with the characters and the guests was always one of the best parts to be able to watch them to interact and come alive and would be one of the highlights of the job but that's not all I did at World Showcase I had a lot of times where I was what we called a rover and as a rover I basically got the freedom to wander around the World Showcase just looking for people to take their picture now as a photo pass photographer we weren't real pushy in fact one of our big rules was you don't push the pictures we were not going to be Kodak. That'll be coming up in another video. But we were going to be gentle and just try to capture moments with the guests. I had a number of favorite locations I like to shoot, but I also love to watch people as they played. We had a couple lawns out there and you'd watch the kids playing or eating some unique food that they had never tried before. There were a couple fonts that the kids would splash in a little bit, and so I would try to get pictures of that. And just to be able to get a picture of them actually remembering the moment when they were there. Not just your standard posed picture, but let's get something different and unique that showed them what they were doing when they were there. Those are my favorite kind of pictures. Any place that I could capture a guest where they were just relaxing and enjoying their time was easily a highlight. Not every place was that good. In fact, there were some that were pretty bad to work. For example, at Epcot, when you first walk into the park, you've got the big giant golf balls called Spaceship Earth. And as you're right at the entrance, lots of people want their picture with the Spaceship Earth. And you keep pretty busy and be able to keep a steady flow. But then you had those of us that would get stuck on the back side of it. In other words, after you walk past Spaceship Earth and keep going on into the park, then there's a whole nother big plaza out there with the fountain. And you would be stationed out there on what we call backside. And can I tell you, nobody wanted their pictures on backside. It was hot. It was humid and you would stand out there bored desperately trying to interact with guests which there oftentimes weren't even that many guests walking around there and so you would do whatever you could to try to interact and do something and hopefully get a few pictures just hey how are you doing today what are you doing please talk to me epcot had another one of the worst locations to shoot it was called character connection and this is a place where you could get into a big long line and then as you reach the end of the line you would meet five different characters one at a time you would have mickey mouse pluto minnie mouse donald and Goofy, all in various orders, but Mickey was always the first. The problem with character connection is because of the way they had it set up, it ended up being what we called a hug and shove. We had certain things that we looked for as we were taking pictures of people with the characters. Certain poses, certain moments. The problem with character connection is they were trying to push so many people through that those moments got shortened and sometimes non-existent. The characters really didn't get to play at all. It would be a quick, hi, sign your autograph book, pose. And that was it. Boom, boom, boom. Out of the way. And you would just be shooting like crazy. I mean, to the point where your fingers would actually get tired from pushing the shutter button. It just went so quick. There was so little time to be able to play and interact. Like I say, it was just <laughs> hug and shove, hug and shove, hug and shove. 
out they go. If you want to meet characters, Character Connection is not the place to do it. The other place I really didn't like working and I got kind of stuck in for a little while was the dining. Photo as it was expanding gradually took over a lot of the big shows where people would pose for the pictures before the show, go in to see the show and the meal, then we would bring the pictures to them while they were eating or watching the show. The Luau out at uh, the Polynesian Resort is a good example. The Hoop de Doo Review at Fort Wilderness is another example. And we would actually have to go in in the middle of the show, the middle of their meal, and interrupt their time and say, here's your pictures. Don't you want to buy them? We'd have to do that at other dining locations too, like Chef Mickey's. Everybody coming in had to get their picture first in front of a big plate, and then they would go in. Or Ohana's was another place that we worked. And during those meals at Ohana's and Chef Mickey's, they would get to meet the characters and play around, and then they would get us coming up to them saying, Look at your pictures. Don't you want to buy them? I hated that. Hated the hard sell. Why do I have to push your pictures on you? If we're doing our job right, you want to come to us for your pictures, not the other way around. I really didn't like to have to interrupt their special moments and times to do a sell. That wasn't what I was there for. I was there to capture the moments and help them remember their happy times, not shove a picture on them. So the dining experiences for me were probably among the worst. The one exception to that was Cinderella's Royal Table, where the price of the pictures is actually included with the meal. That was pretty cool then because then you could offer it as a bonus. Hey, I'm so happy here. Let me give this to you. This is yours. But at least you didn't feel like you were having to hit them up for money at the table. The vast majority of places to shoot pictures of guests was so much fun. Hey, let me help you. Let me use your camera. Let me do whatever I can to help you remember this moment. And we got to play and interact with the guests and with the characters. And that's what made the job so much fun, so entertaining, and so rare to ever have a bad moment, let alone a bad day. And yes, even five years later, I still miss that a lot. It was easily one of the best jobs I ever had. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little look at some of the best and worst of PhotoPass. As a photographer, we had a lot of fun and we really enjoyed capturing those moments of the guests. Thank you again for watching. Please don't hesitate to like and share the video. Please comment, tell me what some of your favorite experiences were with PhotoPass photographers. Or better yet, where you got good pictures and you didn't even know the photographer was there.